It's life of a pilot. Wow, I don't think cargo planes are supposed to turn that sharp. I know there was a dam, but I've like physically never been to it to really kind of see what it looks like. And that's it right there. Wow, that water looks absolutely amazing. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Life Of. This is Life Of A Pilot and we are going to be here in a cargo plane. One of the biggest planes I believe that you could fly in this game without any mods or anything. I didn't even know you could fly this plane until spawning it through the tra trainer and blowing myself up. As you can see back there, that is the, not the blown up one, but that was one of the ones that made me blow up. Located behind the one that we're uh, in right now. So we're going to go ahead and get this started. Now I want to go ahead and give you a disclaimer and just let you all know I have absolutely no idea how to fly and I suck horribly at it. Uh, this is actually gonna be a start. We are in the snow mod too, so it's gonna make the just everything a lot more interesting. But I think for this, we're just gonna kill the snow mod, so that way, oh look, see, I couldn't even see what I was doing. I'm just going right across the, uh, right across the grass there. So this is gonna be the start of kind of getting into the adventures of, um, planes and, and the different type of planes that we could fly in this game. Um, so we'll go and make this a several part series where we actually are doing cargo shipments and then we'll do stunt planes, fighter jets, all that stuff. I legitimately have to turn this thing around and it is huge. Let's see, where's the runway? The runway is right there. So we're going to actually put it in brake. We're going to back up. See, this is what I just, it's, these planes are huge, and I'm almost running stuff over. And I legitimately didn't even know you could, um, to fly these. Like, this is absolutely a shock to me, that this is something you could do. I don't think they would get that close to the, um, the edge right there. But remember, this is Polecats Flying Service, and you're bound to die on the flight. So we're going to go ahead and get this, uh, plane going as fast as we can, see if we can get it lifted off into the air. Now remember I'm not on the runway because it would just take too long to get over there, so we're going to go ahead and lift her up. This is just a huge plane. Way bigger than anything that I thought that we could ever fly in GTA. So let's go ahead and uh, talk to the gods and see if we can make the weather a little nicer out today. Let's see here. Neutral. Bam! Look at that. Nice blue skies. I'm going to be shipping some uh, materials over to the Sandy Shores airport. Good God, I have no idea what I'm doing. Is there landing gear? Yeah, there we go. We just lifted it up. Wow, I don't think cargo planes are supposed to turn that sharp. That is for sure. So, I mean, as long as we can just keep it together, make it look smooth, um, we should have a pretty fun time. I mean, uh, you guys are doing really good with the suggestions that you guys are giving me. I want to make it easier, though, for me to retain the suggestions and be able to organize them um, in a kind of like a file system. So... Let's go ahead and get you moved out of the comment section when you guys... I still, I mean, if you guys want to put them in the comment section, believe me, that's totally okay, your guys' ideas. But if you have the time, go over to Twitter and hashtag, um, what was it? Life of. So tweet me and then say, oh, this is my idea, and then hashtag life of, or let's, let's make a more specific hashtag so that way it centralizes it to me instead of life of whatever else anyone else does. So... Put PC Life of and make sure you hashtag PC Life of so that way I know exactly what you guys want to see. Um, and it also helps give me ideas too. I swear to God, I just saw mountains popping over there or some weird shit like the map was breaking. Is that? I have never seen that before. It is. Um, we're going to go ahead and take just a little fly over this thing because we're already almost to Sandy Shore, especially in a plane like this. Actually, it's really simple to fly this thing. Uh, to be honest, all my time in GTA, I know there was a dam, but I've like physically never been to it to really kind of see what it looks like. And that's it right there. Like you always see it in the pictures and it looks over the cities, but I don't think I legitimately have ever been to the point where I've seen it. It's almost like a volcano almost. I really don't get why the dam is holding up all that water or not that much water when, I don't know, they should release it into the world and let everyone drink from fresh Jesus water. That that sounded really bad. So we're not talking to air traffic control, and we're actually going pretty close to all these other planes. 
not using a map. So we're kind of actually the map looks really small from up here at this uh, height. I just it's it's pretty crazy actually. Like I know this is a big map, but to be honest, it looks dreadfully small from up here where we're at right now. Even Mount Chiliad looks like a little pump pumpkin. I was gonna say I was gonna say a little punk bitch, but that's that didn't come out the way I wanted to. So we're gonna be passing over the prison right now. We're just gonna go ahead and flat flatten ourselves out. We see Sandy Shores probably about two miles back from, uh, I wonder if I have a shadow on the ground. I don't see it. So that's Sandy Shore, so we're gonna go ahead and get, um, oh my god, you might as well think I am in a, uh, stunt plane, to be truthfully honest. So we're gonna have to probably do a little back and forth, um, uh, cause that was actually very quick. That was like less than a couple minutes from takeoff to where we're gonna have to land again. I've never, <laughs> this is gonna be good. I don't, we're going 114 miles per hour. Um, and remember, I'm not good at airplanes and the whole gig like that. So right now what we're doing is we're turning around. Wow, that water looks absolutely amazing with that uh, glare. So we're going to try to keep the altitude low. That way we don't uh, get any higher. Get any higher. There it is. Also, beautiful thumbnails that could be taken out of this, like that right there with that uh, reflection of the sun. Absolutely amazing. So now we're going to turn the aircraft and uh, start lining up for Sandy Shores. Probably going to vomit a few times because this is just horrendous. Like, I go to look back, then it's like, nope, we're going to go ahead and turn the camera angle 180% around. Okay. We are lined up. Probably didn't have to go that far out to do my uh, turnaround, but whatever. It's okay. So once we get closer, we'll get the landing gear. Now remember, I've played no flight simulators. I don't have any uh, thoughts of becoming a plane pilot, whatever it is, a pilot in the future. So this is all just for fun in GTA. So if you're going to try to critique me, then you're a fool because I have no idea what I'm doing anyways. So, okay, we're going to go ahead and decrease are, uh, wow, 160 miles per hour. We are going way too fast. Okay, oh my god. This is what I'm saying. Okay, we are putting the complete brakes. Uh-oh. Okay, the engine, the engine just stopped for a second. So we're gonna have to turn around again. Um, and as we're going down, now remember I have no idea what I'm doing, so I don't know how to land a plane and get it to where we don't kill ourselves. So we might be doing this back and forth thing a couple times, dependent on how I can get it to work. So uh, let's see, we're gonna have to decrease our altitude while also decreasing speed. So that way when we do land, we're not uh, blowing the plane up. So let's see if we can get it turned around. We are so close to the earth, it's not even funny probably shouldn't be doing maneuvers like this in a big ass plane okay let's go ahead and uh take off the thing i'm gonna go ahead and start killing the engine come on flatten there we go feel like my ears are starting to pop we have a completely killed engine okay we're still going 106 miles per hour i'm not sure if that's what we would land at Okay, this is, uh, this might not be good. This might not be good at all. This is a very small airfield, ladies and gentlemen. Touch it down. Touch it down. Touch it down. You better do it quick, Simba. Holy shit. Okay. There we go. You better hit the brakes, mother trucker. Oh my god. Dead. <laughs> now I'm just throwing this out there. Oh my god. I'm just throwing this out there right now that um, I put on God Mode, so thus way, in case that did happen. Uh, let me see if I can even get in that bitch. See, you can't get in it if you don't spawn it through the trainer, which is actually pretty crazy, which means that this this can't really be flown, which it's thrown through, flown through GTA people, uh, like uh, AIs, but you can still take control of it, which is pretty cool. Anyways, God Mode saved us, so that way we don't have to keep restarting. Um, but we'll use this, we'll kind of use this as a general episode. We'll kind of get a few planes under our belt. We've only been in here for about 10 minutes. Where the hell is the runway? I just died on it. Let's see, where is it at? Legitimately. Probably on the other side of this plane. That's a huge plane. Like, seriously, I had no idea 
uh, you could even fly that, which gives me the thought that I can probably fly the passenger aircraft. So let's go ahead and see what other types of planes there are. Let's see what the Cuban... Ooh. This is a water one. You know what we could do? We'll just we'll, we'll land on some water. We should probably put vehicle god mode on so that way our vehicle doesn't get injured. But we'll at least keep something on so that way um if if it does blow up, we can at least see the aircraft blow up and we don't die with it. Unless, unless you guys want to see me die every time, which that would be boring. So, oh, I know what we're doing. I know what we're doing. We are going to um we are going to go to the dam over there that we saw and passed by the first time. And we're going to land in there. And then we're going to see if we can actually take back up off of the water. Let's go ahead and get some nice altitude. We got a moon up there. Just like real life. Love it. So I believe that's going to be it right here. God, the camera angles are so shitty. Go ahead and try to keep it flat if we can. That sounds amazing, though. Yeah, this is going to be it. You see the pipelines running up there. Alright, so this is going to be even more interesting trying to land in water. Obviously, we don't need landing gear to complete this task. Or at least I hope. I'm sure we don't. We, don't need, would need, we wouldn't need wheels for water. That would, be, that would be kind of silly. I actually would like to take a car up here one time. I don't even think we're going to have enough room. But we're going to try it because YOLO, you only live once in Grand Theft Auto. Well, technically you live like a million times in Grand Theft Auto, but... Alright, we got this. We got this. We're going to skim the water. Come on. Got it. Nice. That is what I'm talking about right there. That's really cool. But to be honest though, after actually touching down on this landmark, I do not think I physically have been here. To, to look at this, to be honest, like this is just one place that I've never thought, hey, let's let's go look at the dam that GTA has. So that's really cool. And actually, I'll take a, uh, I will take a car up here one day. Maybe there's some hunting we can do up here uh, for another life of a hunter. But that that's a pretty cool area. I mean, if you guys you guys should go check it out too. I think that there's a road. God, this aircraft is not turning. Okay, we're gonna just stop it and then go in reverse. It's like only wanting to turn one way really good and then the other way it's not turning that way. Look, it's not turning left. Unless my left trigger's broken. There we go. I have to slam it down so hard. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take back off into the air. Hopefully we get enough speed. There we go. Yeah, so that's a really cool uh, that's a really cool spot. You know, get the fishing mod in here and drive up here and do some fishing. We can go ahead and get over this mountain or this little hill. And then see what's on the... Oh, God. See what's on the other side. Always make sure you're climbing in altitude or else you're going to hit the fucking side of a mountain. So, I mean, from up here, really good... Uh, almost you could do more life of a photographer. But up in the plain, you could get a lot of really vast land. And I like how they actually fixed it to where when you do fly, it doesn't make the map... It, like, all the map looks good. Like, that's, that's surprising. Like, it's a world. But then when you get really far up there, it kind of looks a little small. But that's normal. It's only a video game. But this is, uh, this is a cool plane. I mean, I wish they had more areas like where we just went up by the dam and stuff. Let's go ahead and see what's up here on the top of this mountain. And if anything, we'll touch back down. And we'll see if we can get into another plane before we kind of wrap up this episode of Life of a Pilot. We're over here in the... Uh, this is like the gravel, man-made gravel pits where they pull the gravel out of. You can actually do a lot of exploring. Life of an explorer. That would be fun. A lot of ideas can come through this, because you can just go and you can look around. You can see all the different cars that are driving on the road in different areas. I think that's uh, Humane Labs. Yeah, most definitely Humane Labs. God, we are getting close to that mountain. We're going to go ahead and actually touch down in this body of water, this cove, that the... Uh, Humane Labs probably owns for their testing and crazy shit that they do. Go ahead and touch down right here. Oh. What the fuck did I just hit? Did anyone... I have no idea what I just killed, but I heard a little... Arr! That's fucked up. Okay, we have touched down, but unfortunately we won't be able to get another aircraft because we're in the fucking ocean. 
see if I could turn around without hitting that rock. God, the turning radius sucks. I do want to get the mod where we remove all the water, too, because I heard that there is, um... That would be... That's it. That's it. Life of an Explorer. We have just set a new episode tone, and we know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to drain all the water out of the map, and then we're going to be able to go around and look and see all the, uh sunken ships all the everything that would be technically hidden from the eye if you don't go and look with a submarine machine would be a really good thing for us to do so we're gonna go ahead and try to get back to this cove that uh humane lab owns it is really choppy out here not a bad idea to do life of a boat or two we get like a speed boat or something do something crazy so we're gonna pull up on shore there we go probably won't be able to get our help uh Oh, dead. How does that even happen? That's why I'm so thankful I put on God mode. So that way, that it didn't kill me. So let's see what other type... Let's get a jet. Fuck it. I don't care. Oh, wait. Mother of God. That's like a legitimate jet. That's not technically... I, I want like a fighter jet. Let's see. Which one would that be? That would be the... Not that one. Not that one. Shit. That's not cool. Well, at least you can know you can do the car, uh, passenger plane. That's always interesting. All these planes are on fire. Is that it? Nope. I don't think... Is it... Um, okay. There we go. Here's a... Uh, this is a stunt plane. Maybe we can... I don't even think we're going to have enough speed to get the plane up in the air. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. God damn it. So much for a stunt plane, huh? Alright, let's try this again. We... <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work. Look at the rotor. It's all bent. Motherfucker. It is so bent, it's not even funny. Or that's just the way it's... Nope, bent. Bent and broken. That's for sure. I love the little hat he puts on. Anyways, it's it's coming up here close to 20 minutes for this episode, so we're not going to get another plane out in the sky today. But definitely, if you guys enjoyed this, where we go and look around the stuff, where we just go and fly different planes, and then we end up crashing them, and now it looks like a fucking Titanic scene over here. Let me know. Remember, like I said, guys, go to my Twitter, and make sure you give me more episode ideas by hashtagging PC Life of, so that way it centralizes it to me. Uh, cause you never know if there's other people out there doing Life of series or something like that. So, okay. I <laughs> hope you guys enjoy. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And until then, we will see you next episode.